Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing what are the common video features and uh, disadvantages. Why I have written features and disadvantages, I will let you know. And as we know that uh, video is a very big subject and there are a lot of topics in which the features and advantages, disadvantages, characteristics are there. Sometimes it might become difficult even if we use mnemonics to mem uh, memorize because there are such a uh, large number of concepts. So what do you need to keep in mind? Because the thing is that examiner does not read all of your answer script. He just looks at what are the things you, you have written as key points and if they are found relevant, you will be getting marks. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Watch this video till then you'll get to know what are the things you need to keep in mind to answer any of these type of questions no matter what the thing is if you skip this video you will be at the end in the exam sitting like this person right so let's get started what are the um, why have it features and disadvantages that because features advantage and characteristic doesn't uh, make any difference to me these three things are just same things just they have used the different words so for these three things you just have to write few keywords and for the disadvantage also there is a trick which i'll be letting you know so let's get started what's the secret formula i use let's have a look at that basically what does features mean if you have something features means what are its uh what differentiates it from different other things right if you are talk about these features of this chemical it's in purple color you got talked about the feature of this chemical it is in um, yellow color right so the features means what is its smell what are its characteristics again the same thing comes and from features only you will be getting the advantages or disadvantages if a person is smart that person will be able to solve many problems right so that is the advantage which he is getting because of its smartness if you know the features you'll obviously know the advantages as well no need to memorize it separately okay so this is the thing you need to keep in mind let's have a look at previous questions what are the all type of features that could be asked in the previous uh, that were asked in the previous questions and that could be asked in the upcoming exam so in the module one we have one question which has the features of uh, type of question which is cloud computing okay and by features i mean advantage disadvantage characteristics everything okay so from, from module one the cloud computing is super important one from module two we have two questions which is regarding hadoop and map reduce from module three we have five questions which is the longest module no sql key value store document store sn architecture mongodb and cassandra db and module four we have two questions which is hive and pick and module five is having no questions regarding the features characteristics disadvantage advantage and all so let's have a look what do you need to keep in mind so you need to process something in your brain and uh, keep it with you till you uh, get up from the exam hall after writing the video exam let's have a look what are the features and what do what do they have in common be it the cloud hadoop map reduce hive no sql key value document store shared netting architecture mongodb cassandra db we just have to remember a few keywords which i'll be displaying on the screen first you have to remember it is scalable whatever the thing is the feature is its advantage and uh, what is its betterment big data means you'll be having a large number of data so it must be scalable that's the first feature second you have efficiency if you, you don't try to memorize this just listen to me what i'm telling scalable means it, is, it should be able to solve a large number of problems it should store up large number of data obviously if something is storing large number of something that is called as efficient data uh, right and it should be flexible means large data cannot be all of the same type it should have all the different kinds of data in that that is called as flexible data then we have distributed since it's large data you'll be having to distribute it many places right and it is open source since large data is there everyone will be accessing it that is called as open source and it should not have any uh, uh, barriers in the cross platform because different types of platform exist in the world all of them use the same data so it should be cross platform and if there happens to be some error it should be tolerant and it should be independent it should not be dependent on some other features as well so that is the uh, best thing uh, what uh, um, thing can have like it is independent of uh, other uh, features it should be fast and easy then it is only called the best features and it should be causing low cost okay so these are the features as well as if you see one feature you can write the advantage and disadvantage as well what are the advantages scalable means you'll be having a big um, a scale in which you can uh, perform the data and you can uh, explore a lot and you can get more insights on that and you can uh, perform a lot of operations on that if it is scalable you can uh, do the operations parallelly as well so parallel is also another word see there are many words are there just remember these 10 words you'll be able to get a lot of words okay now talking about the disadvantages what are the disadvantages all you have to do is just write not uh, behind that one uh, behind each of these words okay so it doesn't make sense like if you write the advantage something and you write a complete opposite of that uh, disadvantage who is telling you to do that stupid stuff 
So if you are writing advantages, just write these five advantages, and for the disadvantages, write these five disadvantages. It does not matter if it is relevant or not. If you write it with neat diagram, uh, not diagram, with neat key points underlined, you will be getting marks for that. Don't uh, hesitate to do this uh, thing in the exam. You'll be getting marks. That's all what we are concerned about. Big data is a very big subject. We don't care about what we are writing. We just have to fill the answer scripts with as much content as we can, and then you can hope for the maximum marks. So that's all. Uh, make sure to the like button, subscribe to my channel for more this like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one